Chris Sewell here, baseball card collector, investor, dealer in that order. Welcome everyone. Today I want to talk about this uh, Brock Purdy card as this, this sort of thing happens maybe once or maybe twice a year or so in the sports card world where a card just receives tremendous demand all at once in a very, very short period of time and sort of use it as a case study and maybe use it to, you know, as, as a lesson to be learned for what to do when, when you notice that sort of thing happening. Before I start, just want to mention real quick that I uh, recently did an interview with Mike from Junk Wax Hero. He's got a really, really nice channel, a growing channel, and uh, a really fun interview. It took, you know, 30 minutes or so, and we did sort of like a, a rapid-fire baseball trivia thing at the end, which was really fun. So, uh, good time. Check it out. I've included a link to it in the description below. But okay, back to Brock Purdy. For those who don't know, Purdy was a seventh-round draft pick for the 49ers. He started the season as the third-string quarterback, but uh, Trey Lance got injured early, and Jimmy Garoppolo got injured, I don't know, midseason or whatever, and, and Purdy took over, and he's he's been excellent. And he's led the 49ers into the playoffs. I think they were the two seed going in, uh, for, in the NFC going into the playoffs, and they're currently in the NFC title game. I, I intentionally uh, posted this video before the NFC title game, which is uh, tomorrow on the 29th. This is a 2022 Panini Mosaic rookie, and because Purdy was a seventh-round draft pick, he does not have very, very many cards um, yet, which is an important piece to this. And uh, because, you know, he kind of came out of nowhere and all of a sudden it looks like, you know, San Francisco is a legit Super Bowl contender. You know, they might win the Super Bowl with Brock Purdy as quarterback. Uh, this card has just seen tremendous demand in the last month since its uh, release in late December. I should mention that this is the base card. There are a lot of sort of rare parallel versions of this card, uh, but they're only going only gonna to look at the base card for the purpose of this video. Quick side note, what's going on with the photo here and his right leg? Like, it just cuts off a little bit above the ankle. Like, where's his right foot? Uh, it seems like it should be there, but anyway. So here's what the card is selling for Raw as I recorded this video, which was on Friday the 27th. These were the last eight sales on eBay, and these were very good represent representatives of what the card was selling for in the moment. Uh, you can see lowest there is $38, highest is $52, you know, maybe about $45 or so on average. Now, this price is just incredibly high like if you looked at comps of other quarterbacks or other sort of base cards you know you would probably think this card is about a five dollar card or something like that maybe maybe as high as a ten dollar card but because he came out of nowhere and because he doesn't have a lot of cards and, and the FOMO aspect of things and because the, the 49ers just continue to, to you know do well throughout the playoffs and it's looking more and more like a real possibility that he's going to win the Super Bowl all this demand all exploding around him at once this card is just you know, much, much higher than it would, it would normally be. If we look at some of the Panini Mosaic rookies of some other young star quarterbacks, and, and these are pretty much apples to apples comparisons here. You know, Trevor Lawrence, you can pick up his Mosaic rookie for under $5, no problem. Uh, Justin Herbert, you can pick up his Mosaic rookie for maybe under $10. And okay, both of those two players are no longer in the playoffs, but what about Jalen Hurts? He's still in the playoffs. You can get his Mosaic rookie for about five bucks and uh and joe burrow who was in the super bowl last year and is still in the playoffs this year in the final four you can get his mosaic rookie for you know ten dollars no you know maybe fifteen dollars no problem now on the surface brock purdy should not be more expensive than any of these quarterbacks i just showed i mean all four quarterbacks i just showed have much more impressive re career resumes than brock purdy and like i said two of them are still in the playoffs so it's not like that's what's going on the only thing the purdy card has going over these four is that Purdy has a lot fewer cards at the moment. All four players I just showed have a lot of cards. Purdy doesn't have very many. But that's going to change quite soon, I, I promise, as, as you know, Purdy shows up in a whole lot more sets as, uh, as they get released. So you might say, you know, okay, the card's overvalued, but it still has room to grow. I mean, if he wins another playoff game or the Super Bowl, this card could jump way up even further. And yeah, that's technically true, but I wouldn't even predict that. Uh, let's look at the sales history of this card over the last month. Remember, the card was released only a month ago. So when the a card first came out in late December, here were some initial sales. You can see the card was selling right out of the gate around $45, $50 or so. Uh, remember, Pur Purdy was already sort of getting caught on as like the hot new thing as he was leading the 49ers to a bunch of wins. Um, a week later into early January, it actually dropped a little bit after its initial release down to more like $35 or so on average. Uh, then uh, right before the first 49er playoff game was actually when it peaked. Right before the first 49er game, it peaked up around 55, 60, 65, maybe something like that. Then in between the first and second playoff game, it actually dropped a little bit down to about 55, 50, somewhere in there. And then that brings us to today, right before the third playoff game, uh, the card selling on average right around $45. 
here's a really rough estimation of what the card's value has done over the last uh, month. And, you know, please excuse the crudity of this model. I didn't have time to build it to scale or to, to paint it. And if you know that movie reference, you are all right with me. Graphics department's a little light at the moment, the, uh, you know, economy being what it is and all. But you can see the, the value of the card almost feels random over the last, over the last uh, month. Basically nothing to do with the playoff wins. Here, here are where the playoff wins were. And, you know, you can see the card didn't jump up after the playoff wins or anything like that. If you knew nothing else about the card, you might expect the graph to look more like this. You know, it gets a bump after the first playoff win, gets another bump after the second playoff win. But no, it, it looks like this. In fact, the card is actually down today than when it first re was released a month ago, even though he's won two playoff games since then. And that's because it was just so expensive out of the gate that, you know, increasing demand based on his playoff performances can only, only do so much. So another piece to this is that when the card first came out, there were not a lot of uh, copies available on eBay or other sites. People just hadn't figured out that this is a card you can you can list and, and ask a lot of money for. But you know, today now most people have figured that out. So there's a lot available on eBay and other sites. At the time of this recording, there were over 700 copies available on eBay. You know, in the supply and demand equation, the supply side that's that's a very big number. That's a lot of supply. So that's going to you know make the card really struggle to to go up in value much. So all this is to say really simply, you know, now is not the time to be buying this card or realistically any Brock Purdy cards as they're just they're just way overvalued. Now, to be clear, I could completely be wrong. He could win the Super Bowl and the Super Bowl MVP and throw for eight touchdowns and this card could spike way up. But I find that extremely unlikely. And I think that, you know, the card sort of only has room to go down. Even if he were to win the Super Bowl, I would expect the card to drop whether he wins the Super Bowl or not. And I'm not going to make a prediction, and if you watch my channel regularly, you know that I do not like making predictions like this, but I'm going to make this one just for fun. Uh, you know, these sort of predictions can just come back to totally bite you in the mouth. Uh, bite you in the mouth? That's not the right thing. You, you know what I mean. And that's why I don't like making them, but I'm going to do this one, again, just for fun. If I end up getting this one wrong, I'll do something fun uh, for, for the viewers. Not not sure what yet, but we'll do, do something fun, maybe something embarrassing or whatever, but... I'm going to predict that on March 10th, which is a little less than a, a month after the Super Bowl, that this card will be under $10 if the 49ers do not win the Super Bowl, and it will be under $25 if they do win the Super Bowl. That means you'll be able to go on eBay and easily buy this card all in for $10 or $25. Uh, that's that's uh, my prediction. Remember, the card's currently selling for about uh, $45. And I just want to finish on one final thought, which is sort of important to me. You know, sometimes I make videos like this, and I feel like I'm taking the fun out of collecting, uh, you know, and, and I sort of hate that feeling. Like, if you're, you know, a collector and you just you just really like Brock Purdy or you really like the 49ers or you love the, you just love football and you love the Brock Purdy story, you know, Mr. Irrelevant and you just find it really cool and you just really want this card in this moment and you're willing to pay the $40, $50 for it and that's all there is, you know, that's awesome. And, and I don't mean that in any sort of derogatory way. I mean, that really is awesome. I have a lot more respect for that than you know someone just trying to flip the card or whatever so you should not feel bad about that at all there's there's no like oh you're you're a fool because you're paying 40 50 dollars for this card if, if that's what you want that that that's awesome and i want to make sure that's very clear you know th this video is not uh, is not targeted you know t t towards you in, in that sense but that's it thank you everyone for watching and would love to hear people's thoughts on this video and and, and these ideas and would love to get some ideas for uh, things that I'll have to do if I get my prediction wrong. Like, what's some, something embarrassing thing that, that I, I would have to do that you would like to see? But uh, until next time, have a great day. Thanks, everyone.